how not to build a dry stack wall. This is a textbook example of, of how not to build the wall. You see all the vertical lines there? All the vertical lines and one block that is, um, is not supported by the two underneath of it. This is not the way you do it. One block should be sitting on two. Here's how you should do it. Do, do not ever complain or criticize unless you have a solution or a better way to do it. If you look at these rocks, you'll see that one rock sits on top of two rocks. And there's, no, there's not that many vertical lines. Vertical lines is bad when you're building a wall, whether it be dry stack or whether you're using mortar. Mortar doesn't mean anything. So here again, how not to build a wall. And um, again, you have to put, the block has to be sitting on the two, two blocks underneath to support, support it. And they didn't use a chalk line either, obviously. So this is how you do not build a dry stack wall. These walls can look really nice. When they're well done, they can really look artistic and well done. That's the thing about building with blocks and rock masonry work. It can really look nice when, when done well. If you look closely at these rocks, like the big one rock is sitting on the two underneath of it. And the mortar doesn't hold these rocks in place. The, these rocks are built just like dry stack. You have to put the rock in place and it has to be firmly held by the two below it before you, know, before you can actually mortar it in. So um, the good thing about dry stack wall like this is it can, it's easy to take this down and redo it. So it wouldn't take but about two hours to take this down and redo it the uh, correct way. So that's one good thing about dry stack walls. Um, make a mistake, you know, no big. The, the, the good thing about this wall, they tried, and now they just have to just do it again.